Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris Highland. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today, we've got an awesome video. We're going to check out Tom McDonald Sheeple as we continue down the Tom McDonald rabbit hole. So excited to do this. Shout out to the Hangover Gang, Hog Family. Thanks so much for all your support. Before we get started, if you could please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on so you know when we post new videos, and please share this with your friends, your relatives, and leave some comments for us. Let us know how we're doing, what we can do better. Really appreciate comments for the algorithm so that we can get our videos in front of more eyes and more people can see Tom McDonald because he's got great stuff. So without further ado, let's dive into Tom McDonald and see what he's got for us in Sheeple. Humans been controlled to the day that they were civilized. The truth has been so heavily politicized. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little guys, find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Black folks. Oh, wow, that's so true. Find out who you're not allowed to criticize. Now, fortunately, in this country, still legally, you're not allowed, you're, you're allowed to criticize anybody. But watch who they go after when they say certain things. Watch who the media complex, the pundits, watch who they go after and cancel and you'll know what you're not allowed to say in this society. Remember when we were taught, when we had a pandemic and we were talking about getting the jab and we were talking about what to do and not to do. Remember the people who were utterly canceled for just citing scientific fact and reality. Amazing, that's awesome. I also like the robots. I, I like the whole robot vibe here. This is pretty cool. Guys, find out who you're not allowed to decide. Black folks who were never ever actual slaves fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate while elite folks control all the political parties. It's a big lie trying to make you pick sides, trying to make you burn the cities down and kill each other. They got sick minds, big lies, deep on the police so that there's big crime to take away our freedom to restore order. They let die. Play oh, wow. That is so true. That is so they, they are actually creating crises that then they come in and solve by taking away freedom. They did it during the pandemic. Now they're going to do it with, with the whole law and order situation. They're creating an absolute crime wave between woke DAs who are eliminating cash bail, who are releasing criminals into the street, who won't prosecute actual criminals, between the millions of illegal migrants who have flooded the United States and will not be prosecuted, will not be deported, will not be jailed, a.k.a. The, uh, the killer of Lake and Riley, they are creating an absolute crime epidemic. And then they will watch, they will step in with draconian laws and the elimination of rights in order to fix the problem. They do that with things like hate speech versus free speech. They will do it with an absolute police state that eliminates your ability to move, your ability to function. They're doing it also with the whole climate change scam. Oh, we have this all this climate change, so you have to, you are forced, they want you to be forced to buy electric vehicles. They want you to be forced to get certain types of energy. They want you to be forced into non-movement. They create crises, and then their solution is to take away your rights. It's time we stand up as Americans. Do not forfeit your rights for anything or anybody. Do not give up your right to free speech, your right to, to freedom of religion. Do not give up your right to bear arms. Don't give up any of the rights in the name of security. Because if you give up your rights for security, you will have neither. Wow. Okay, that is so rich. All right, let's back up a little bit. Man, I love his stuff. Deep on the police so that there's big crime to take away our freedom to restore order they let die. Play with people, turn men into women, make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system, change the pronouns. The gender is a spectrum, so is the for white folks and black celebrities with millions. They starve you with a lack of information and only give you facts through a branded corporation. Distort your worldview with an algorithm that changes based on propaganda curated for your engagement. Wow, okay, awesome. He's absolutely right. They, they, they flipped the whole counterculture. Remember 40, 50 years ago, the counterculture was against the CIA, against the government, against the mainstream, against the media corporations, against you know the big corporations. Now it's flipped on its head. Now counterculture is for the Constitution, for freedom of speech, uh, against corporations. What was counterculture before? Loves big corporations, loves big tech, loves censorship, loves big government, loves the CIA. Man, and watch, if they have their way, they'll flip it again in 30, 40 years just to keep everybody fighting a fake enemy. They, they stand up straw men, get people to fight those straw men. Meanwhile, everybody in the background, the, the elite politicians, the big rich globalist cronies are robbing you blind. 
Wow, it's so true. And privilege is a spectrum. He's absolutely right. There are uber rich black celebrities and there are ultra poor whites. Same thing with Hispanics. They're rich and poor. Same thing with, with everybody. The biggest form of privilege, I think, in this world is growing up with a mother and a father in the house. You want your children to get ahead? You want your children to have actual privilege? Stay married, get married before you have kids, and raise those kids in a two-parent household, teaching them discipline and punctuality and values and those sorts of things, and you will absolutely give your kids privilege. Awesome. Amazing stuff. All right, let's go. Leadership. We cannot be free until we're on the same team. He's so right. We have to figure out who the real enemy is. As Americans, we have to wake up and realize that. The real enemy is the globalists, the, the global corporations, the globalist swampies, the establishment who have been robbing people blind for decades. They have gotten uber rich politicians worth $900 million on a $150,000 salary. Tell me how that works. Because the math does not add up. So find out who the real enemy is. We need to band together, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, gay, straight. All of us need to band together and fight the real enemy. Awesome, Tom. Way to go. I'm loving the big eye in the sky too. It looks like, it looks like a big reptile eye. But man, it, it you know, odes back to 1984 and Big Brother is watching you. Big Brother is watching because they need to find out who they can censor. Control in your mouth, you say lit, fleet, bet, cap, they trying to dumb you down. They endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in movies for diversity clout. Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them honest. Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage. Being woke used to mean you understood you were a target. And now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. If you agree, it's free speech at the mainstream. Trump's oh, wow. I love that line. If you agree, it's free speech. If you disagree, it's hate speech. 40 years ago, it was all free speech. It was all free speech. You were allowed to say whatever you wanted. We still believe in the First Amendment in this country. Now, they have completely mutated it. They have gutted the First Amendment, at least culturally. They haven't quite done it legally yet, although they're almost there. But culturally, if you like it, oh, then it's free speech. If you agree with it. If you disagree with it, suddenly it's become hate speech. And he's absolutely right. And so many people don't believe anything that doesn't come from the mainstream media, which is an absolute shame because the biggest, the second biggest scam to the politicians, the globalists, everybody ripping you off and robbing you blind and strip mining your wealth from you is the mainstream media is utter propaganda. There is zero truth in the mainstream media. They have absolutely created fake news. They create stories out of whole cloth. It is all narrative. None of it is actual facts and truth. Man, that's rich. Awesome. Okay, Tom. Eyes, it's easy to see. A mask became a symbol of which side you believe. But you'll never cure a sickness till you cure the greed. Because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free. Society is broke. You want you locked inside a cubicle. Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals. Tell you that you're fat and poor and you were never beautiful. Then tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral. Okay, we awesome. Yeah. Trump supporters are racist. but. The Republicans are the ones who ended slavery. He's just a fact. He's got that right. And it was all Republicans, 100% Republican support that voted the Civil Rights Act in in the 60s against almost universal Democrat no votes. LBJ was basically forced to sign it, not at the point of a gun, but, but he realized that he had no choice at that point. Wow, that is so awesome. And find out, again, follow the money. You'll never cure a sickness until you cure the greed. Because they're never going to cure a sickness that they can make money off of. That's the other impetus behind the whole transgender healthcare movement. Because if you realize, if you track the money, a transgender patient who goes through the, the hormones, who goes through the transition surgery, who goes through all of that, becomes a pharmaceutical client for life to the tune of millions. For every person that they convince that they are not their biological sex and get them to actually go through gender affirming medical treatment, they have created a million dollar plus customer for life. It's amazing. Follow the money. It is so true. And 
Man, okay, way to go, Tom. I love it. They can't convince you, they confuse you. They want you dumb and dead. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. Made everybody right and left. The hatred got so intense. If the other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head. And the conspiracy theories labeled as misinformation is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out the nation. The system treating you like trash, and you got rifles to aim with. Just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. George Orwell, 1984. Wow, so true. Right now, we still have 70 million gun owners in, the, in this country that represent a real threat to the government, that represent a real threat to those who want an actual police state. There is still teeth behind our First Amendment. There is still teeth behind the freedom of religion and the freedom of speech. But if they manage to take away our guns, there are no teeth anymore. Look at Australia, look at the United Kingdom, look at all of Europe, basically, who have been stripped of their ability to defend themselves, and now they are at the whim of their government masters, their government betters. Wow, and man, that is so true. I love it. What was his last lecture? George called them thought police. Now we call them fact checkers. Yeah. Government surveillance trying to catch you. They don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital for cash investors. The system isn't broke, it's working fine. Oppressive and chaotic is how it was designed. They say if we ain't doing nothing wrong, there's nothing to hide. While their agenda and intelligence completely classified. They don't- Yep, wow, okay. Mass incarceration, cash for capital investments. Realize, and, and this is something that, that was new to me just about a week ago, that the same people who own the private prisons, I think it's CXW is the, is the stock ticker symbol, Vanguard and BlackRock are the same companies, the same globalist corporations that own all of the gangster rap labels. And they, they, they are trying to create a prison culture mentality a pathway to prison where they make billions. They make billions off of the rap songs that they feed people. And then the culture that that creates, they make billions off the results of that. Whoa, he has got that absolutely spot on. And all the government people, oh yeah, everything's gotta be classified. They still haven't released the Kennedy files yeah, 60 years later, because they don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to know who actually assassinated them. And they never want you to know what they're doing. That's all classified. Everything else though, oh yeah, free game. You never learn them at all, because they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are. The only people you can rule are the criminal ones. So they force you into corners till you're breaking the law. We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But y'all are sheep. Lucas screams just part of the machine. Shout out to Nova for that video. That was awesome. The whole robot army in the background was great visuals. Him all tied up to the machines with the uh, whited out eyes. Total. I mean, it just speaks exactly to what the lyrics are about. Man, and he's right. We can't have peace till we're on the same team. Please wake up, America. Realize who the real enemy is. If we get on the same team, blacks and whites and Hispanics, they're separating us by race for a reason. It's easy to see. They've created false divisions. We are all the same. We're all Americans. Deep down inside, we all bleed the same color. We may have some policy differences, but what they've created in this bifurcated culture, this polarized culture is not normal and it's not real. It's government-led, media-fed, and we need to end it. So join me, please. Join Tom, man. Let's get on the same team and let's fight this thing. I am so glad you're with me down this Tom McDonald rabbit hole journey. I'm loving Tom. I'm loving the videos by Nova. This is great stuff. I love what he says. I especially love when I come across one of his songs that's just totally funny <laughs> and not and not serious political uh, and, and cultural commentary, but so much of them are because that's exactly what's needed. And so thank you so much for joining me on this. Shout out again to the Hangover Gang, Hog family. Thanks so much for your support. I appreciate all of it. Remember that in the midst of all this, God is sovereign and he is good and it'll all be good in the end. It's not yet good. It's not yet the end until I catch you next time.